Watching News 12 Westchester, serving Westchester and the Hudson Valley. Now, the daytime edition. Even though the holidays are coming up, we're still thinking healthy as far as food goes. But I'm not throwing away the taste. I'm not being extreme. I want something that tastes good and just a little bit healthier for me. We've got an answer, and it comes from Jason Donovan. He's a managing chef there at the Hudson Valley uh, hospital center. You know, hospitals get a bad rap. I've tasted some of this. It's pretty good stuff. <laughs> That's in Cortland Manor. And now we're talking about healthier choices. So mm -hmm. what's the first thing you've got right here? Uh, first thing we have here is uh, apple cider glazed root vegetables that have been roasted. Yeah, uh, that sounds good to me. Which, what do we have here? Because I would have said potato and carrot or sweet potato. We have carrot, rutabaga, and turnips. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And why do I like rutabaga, carrots, and turnips. They're very healthy, high fiber, lower fat than, uh, say, a mashed potato. Okay. You're adding heavy cream and All right. butter. I like, this is what our finished product is actually going to look like, but uh, we're going to start with the basics right now. All right, you're going to start, you're saying there is butter in there, but you mm -hmm. try to minimize it, right? Absolutely. We're just going to rub a little on the pan here. Okay. Just enough to get us that much. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops, we'll put that aside. Nobody needs to see this. We'll All just right. dump it right there. And now we're going to pour out a little bit of each of the vegetables. Can I pour them together? Absolutely. You're... Now, what is the all-white one there? What is that? Exactly? That is your turnip. That's your turnip. Your okay. rutabagas and your carrots. Okay. They look good. I like this. I just like the colors. Very bright and festive. And we're staying away from, would a potato in here not be quite as good? Um... It would be good, but you have a little bit more flavor from these root vegetables. Oh. Once they're roasted with the glaze, it That's really brings out the flavor. I, and here's something, folks. You may recognize it from many of your trips to any of our orchards here in the Hudson Valley. It is apple cider. Fresh, organic. Let's, what do I do now? Just uh, between a quarter and half a cup, just over the quarter top. Quarter and half a cup. Eh. You know, folks, I'm not good at estimating here, but we'll go with this. Keep and, going. Uh, we're trying to get everything in there and just da 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 da. There you go. But that looks great. I hadn't even thought yep. about an apple cider for a glaze. A little bit of kosher salt over the top. All right. A little bit of pepper. Some parsley. And all I have to do is put it in the oven with a little tin foil on top of it. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and uh, bake it for about 25 minutes, remove the cover, bake it for another 15, 20 minutes, and it'll be perfect. That sounds great to me. Thanks very much, Jason. Mm -hmm. Chef Jason with us again. Jason Donovan from the hospital center up there, uh, Hudson Valley Hospital Center up there in Cortland Manor. Now, this is really what I want to get to. Now, you got to tell me, why is a pumpkin parfait a better choice for dessert? Oh, it's much healthier. We don't have uh, the crust that has oh, a lot of immediately you're getting rid of, of the fat. Absolutely. Um, the cake is lower fat. Um, so we just have the cake, a little bit of low-fat vanilla pudding, and some uh, canned pumpkin pie mix. That smells like gingerbread or it something. It is gingerbread, yes. Is, is that what's at the bottom? Absolutely. Well? And gingerbread is, we got rid of all the stuffing, mm -hmm. and is gingerbread even a better choice than the and stuffing? I say all the uh, parfait, not the parfait. The pie crust. Pie crust, thank you very much. <laughs> That's why we have an expert with me. Absolutely. Uh, you're looking at 30% fat in a pie crust generally, so you're much lower. Wow, that's a great alternative. Can I make up one of these? Absolutely. For myself personally? Maybe for Amy Nay if she behaves? All right, you're going to okay. start off All right. with a piece of gingerbread. Do I put it right in the bottom? Right in the bottom. Okay, there I you do go. that. You're going to take a scoop of vanilla pudding. Now, is this special? Can I get a low-fat version if I can? Absolutely. All right. Just follow the directions. Make sure it's cool when you uh, put it in. Okay. I already like the yep. look of that. Just going to let it settle a little bit. All right. Perfect. Now you're going to go ahead and scoop of the pumpkin. Now, can I get this out of a can? Mm -hmm. I, I need things easy. I'm low maintenance. Can Absolutely. I get it? Absolutely. That okay. is uh, canned pumpkin. All right. Perfect for me. All right. Wow, this is good. And I like the fact that you have a low-fat pudding there because I feel like I, I might need a little bit of cream, but I can do with a lot less mm -hmm. if I've got that pudding there. Absolutely. I'm going to take one more here. All right. Top it off. And uh, we've also prepared a little uh, whipped cream. You want to help me with that? Absolutely. Because I'm going to reach for the spoon over here while you're handling that. Just All a right. small dollop on the top. Oh, and man. you're good to go. This is pretty good. Folks, I just want to tune out right now, or not sign off, I should say, 
Jason Donovan, chef from the Hudson Valley Hospital Center there in Cortland Manor with healthier choices for Thanksgiving. And me, I just need a little scoop right here. S excuse me. This is not on my diet. <laughs>